What's up guys, wanted to show you what I've been doing to the Trans Am. I uh, posted a couple videos of it at the track stock. I did some paint correction. Well, while I was doing the paint correction, uh, as you guys know, if you've seen one of these cars before, the tops bubble. They're really bad about it. So I wrapped it in vinyl. Well, I sanded all the bubbles out. It looked really, really good. I put the vinyl on, first time out in the sun. This is what I get. There's a couple spots that don't stick. It's really dusty, so it looks like crap right now. But anyway, the only way to properly fix this is to peel this panel off. And so today I went to the salvage yard and got one off a 93 to 98 Camaro Trans Am Firebird. As long as it's a T-top car, obviously. So what you have to do is you have to skin this thing. So from the bottom here, you piano wire all the way up and across. And so I'm going to do that. Take this off, they need to epoxy coat the top side, the bottom side, then paint it back red, obviously. And so I'm having the same guy who did my ZR1 lid. It's Casey's Customs. He does a really good job for me. Anyway, he's going to paint this. I'm gonna to try to skin it myself. And then this one here you can destroy taking off. It's not a big deal to mess it up. Just gotta be careful on the paint, of course. But this car looks really, really good, and so this is a real black eye when you see such a good looking car and it has bubbles on the top. So here's a picture of what it looked like when I got it and before I put the vinyl on it. All right, so it looks a lot better from a distance with the black on it. But when you get up close, you can still see the bubbles. And so it drives me nuts. I'm going to replace it. The whole issue with this is GM stop epoxy coating the bottom side of these. So that allows the urethane. And that's kind of why it's in this direction. The urethane seeps through. That's where it's glued down. So the best way to fix this, obviously, peel the old panel off. Get a panel that they didn't have that issue with. Which that runs 93 to uh, nine, early 99 models. I would try to stay away from a 99 model because you have no idea when it was made, but try to stay 93 to 98. Anyway, get one of those tops, skin it, take the old one off, have the new one epoxy coated on both sides. Make sure you do that when you're doing the prep work and then take the old one off, glue the new one on and you're done. You don't have this issue anymore. And so stay tuned, watch for other videos. I'll have a video when I'm done. I might take a couple videos while I'm doing it. Thanks for watching.